Hello and welcome back to the lab. In today's video, I'd like to demonstrate my octopus curve tracer. The octopus is a basic curve tracer used in conjunction with your analog scope in XY mode to very quickly identify and locate defective components in or out of a circuit. It's a simple home built device and I use mine all the time. So let me just show you just how easy it is and maybe you can build your own octopus curve tracer. Okay, so first let's take a look at the uh, schematic of the device that I built, the octopus that I built. The uh, power comes in here on the left, it goes through a fuse, a power switch into the primary of a transformer. This transformer is a six volt center tap, so three volts, zero three volts on the other side um so and we have a switch to select either six volts rms or three volts rms as our test voltage that goes out to your x output in your scope this is a bnc connector goes through a, a coaxial cable to my x input of my analog scope um, the y input of my analog scope goes through another bnc connector goes to the zero volt end of the transformer and of course they are grounded the shield is grounded on those as well we have a 1k resistor going to ground and what that is is a current sensing resistor so that we have one volt across it for each milliamp of current flowing through it um, so this basically gives you a one milliamp one volt per milliamp um, displayed on your y output so the the test probes that go to your device under test, um, when, when you're connecting across a component, you can measure the voltage across that component across from here to here through your X output to your scope. And the current that flows through your device under test will be displayed on your Y output of your scope. So that's the, uh, the curve tracer that I built. Let's take a look at the actual device, open it up, and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's the device that I built, the octopus that I built. Um, first, you want to make sure it's unplugged, right? You don't want to get zapped. Safety first, right? So I built mine in an aluminum box. We have BNC output jacks that connect to my analog scope. We have banana terminals for my two test probes, one red and one black. Here is the 3 volt or 6 volt RMS selector switch. On the back, we have a power switch. It's not really necessary to use a power switch, but I added one just because I thought that maybe I would need it, and I had the switch available. I built this entire unit from parts I had on hand, so I didn't really have to spend any money to, to, to make this one. And on the inside... You can see the, the power comes in. I have a little um, um, strain relief here. Power comes in, passes through a fuse in the fuse holder, goes to the power switch into the primary of my transformer, the secondary output of the trans secondary of the transformer goes to the selection switch to select between three volts and six volts. Um, one end of the transformer goes to my Y output. One end of the transformer goes to my X output. Um, the probes are connected here through my banana jacks. And there, if you look closely, is the 1K resistor. It actually goes from the Y output to ground. So my Y output actually displays current that passes through the device through my test probes. OK, so this is how I have the octopus hooked up to my analog scope. You'll notice I'm using my Tektronix scope. Um, there's two reasons. One, because it's a low bandwidth scope and I'm only using a 60 Hertz signal here, of course. And so I don't need a high bandwidth scope. So my Tektronix scope works very well for that. Um, additionally, I use the XY mode with one of the channels inverted. I have the channel two invert switch set here on, on my Tektronix scope, 
which I can't do on my HP scopes. It doesn't work that way in X-ray mode. So um, the Tektronics will, um, when I invert one of the channels relative to the other, it will display positive voltage and positive current. Um, Otherwise, it'll display positive voltage with negative current, which doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. So you have to invert one of the channels in order to make it display properly. So I have a couple of components here, and I wanted to uh, test them with my test probes. So we have, first of all, we have uh, with an open circuit, we have a horizontal line because no current is flowing, right? With a short circuit, if I short my two pro probes together, you get a vertical line because there's no voltage and yet you still have current flowing or very little voltage and you still have current flowing. So that would be a vertical line, indicates a short circuit. Um, a capacitor, we have a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. It will show as an oval it's because the, uh, the phase of the voltage and the phase of the current is shifted relative to each other. So it displays an oval and the value of the capacitor will indicate the relative uh, shape of the oval, whether it's wide or narrow, tall or, or uh, thin. Um, here's a resistor. This happens to be a 1.2K resistor. Um, so it shows a, a linear change in voltage with a linear change in current. All right, so that's a resistor. It shows a diagonal line. And I have a Zener diode here, which I showed at the opening to the video. And we'll take a look at that. Now it's upside down. Let's put it, flip it around. Okay, so we have a uh, 0.6 volts forward voltage breakdown and a reverse voltage breakdown. It looks like something like negative uh, 2. Point Two volts or something like that. That's my Zener diode. That's what a Zener diode would look like. So there's the octopus curve tracer. You can use this to diagnose um, components in a circuit as long as it's not energized. So turn it off, unplug it, um, make sure there's no batteries in the unit when you're checking it, and you can you can see combinations of different uh, semiconductor junctions with resistors and associated capacitors. Um, you can see all those things with with the uh, with the probes in the circuit. You don't have to desolder the components from the circuit. So that's the very simple octopus curve tracer. Maybe you can build one yourself. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon to know when I release my next video. Thanks again.